Hello everyone, it's Phil with the Ghost Hold Real Estate Group, powered by eXp. We are in East Mesa today and it is popping. In fact, Kevin, where exactly are we at now? 10447 East Forge Avenue, Mesa, Arizona. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you this beautiful remodeled home before and after photos. But before heading inside, Kevin, why is East Mesa so popular right now? Well, you know, we do want to become the new Silicon Valley. <laughs> True. We have a lot of tech moving in here. So it's become a nice spot for people to settle down. And another big part of it too, is that you don't have to go to Gilbert or Chandler for shopping. There's plenty of it here. Very true. You have a Sprouts that is less than a mile from here, as well as your other fast food places. Neaters is close by and Gas QT, Circle K. Everything's very conveniently located. Yep, and then last but not least, highways not that far away as well. About a mile and a half and you're right on the 60. Very conveniently located and you're within 30 minutes of Gateway Airport. All right, we are in the inside. Kevin, you gave the owner some specific upgrades that they can do on a basic level to make this property sell for a lot more. Mm -hmm. What were a few of them? Flooring, baseboards. You need to upgrade the baseboards from the tiny baseboards to the bigger baseboards. Paint, go to what's in trend right now, which is the grays, as well as fixtures. Love it. Now, as far as the flooring, because a lot of people get scared about that, how did you make it to where it's not so expensive to do? Well, they could have put new tile in this and to tile this home would have been about $15,000. That just doesn't make sense. You can go to the luxury vinyl plank instead. Everybody likes it. It's nice and easy to clean and plus it's a hard surface. All right, so as far as the kitchen goes, what were the recommendations for this one? New countertops for sure. We went to Granite, we had Formica before. We also had all the appliances replaced. Awesome, so stainless steel appliances. And then as far as the cabinets go, some people think that you can't just repaint them because it doesn't look that good. What was your thought process behind recommending to refurbishing the current cabinets? One, it's cheaper. Yep. And two, white is in, so it's easy just to go white right over the existing cabinets. And then to freshen them up, make them look like brand new, add the, add the handles like we did. All right, so as far as the specs go, Kevin, what does this home entail? Two story, three car garage, four bedroom with a den and two and a half bathrooms. Perfect, now we're standing in actually the den area. Why can this be used for a flex room and where is exactly is it located? Floor plan is actually pretty unique. It's tucked around the corner from the living room. So it'd be a great den because a lot of people are having to work from home now. It'd also be a little playroom for somebody. Yeah, and the nice part about it is that it hides all the toys. So if they do decide to make it a playroom, you can still cook and entertain out there while the kids are in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so the bathroom's upstairs. What were some of the recommendations there? One, let's go with keeping the cabinets again, painting them, adding the hardware, and then we put the new countertops on them that are the granite countertops that match the rest of the home. We also have new fixtures, new faucets. I love the black faucets. They're absolutely gorgeous. And the new lights down below. Awesome. And a lot of this, the fixture stuff can be bought on Amazon for very good prices. Now, the tub one, because a lot of people think that they either need to retile a tub yeah. or they need to take the whole thing out and replace it. What's a recommendation or remedy that you give to people to save the money? Just recode it, reuse it again. It, the coating is such a cheaper process to it and it'll look brand new. All right, the last three upgrades that you recommended for this house, what were they? Well, none of them were expensive. So we did face plates, very inexpensive and it freshens up the look. The doors went to the flat panel to the missionary style doors. A lot of people think that those are very expensive. They're less than $60 a door. We also did blinds throughout because everybody needs window coverings. I got a quick question because again, the blinds, do I do the shutters or those are normally pretty pricey. What do you typically recommend? Just the regular blinds, that's it. Shutters throughout a house like this would be six, $7,000 at least. And instead we can do blinds throughout for maybe a thousand at the most. I don't even think it's that much. I think it's probably less than $500. Yeah, and a quick tip is that Home Depot will actually cut the blinds for you. And it's those faux white blinds. They go perfect with the house and it opens it up. All right, Kevin, backyard recommendations. Well, this one, it was a little bit more simple. We got rid of the trampoline. We had it cleaned up because they had pets before, as well as had the re weeds removed. And one of the big reasons why we did that is it looks very spacious now. It is, you wanna like really emphasize to people that with the RV space area, you can't actually fit, you know, a, a boat, ski doos, whatever on that side. And then for the back, it can accommodate a pool. Nice. Now, if somebody wants to set up a showing on this beautiful East Mesa home, what is the easiest way? 
Well, we like to make it super simple, so we have them call 480-305-6688 or go to our website, GoSoldHomes.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have questions about buying or selling or just need any extra tips for your property, feel free to contact us, call, text, or email. And until next time, have a great day.